Welcome back. One of the strong elements in any great community is food. But for some people, sharing a meal can also be a lifeline. And that's the inspiration behind this exciting new cookbook. It's called Cooking with Trans People of Color. So here to share their experiences and some special recipes are two of the book's contributors, Yasmin Prasad and Angel Gladdy. Welcome to The Social. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for having us. Huge congratulations on the release of this book. It looks gorgeous. And before we dive into the food, um, I want to talk about the fact that this kind of came out of your relationship with the 519 Center, which is Canada's most prominent LGBTQ uh, plus 2S community center and service provider. Um, you then created this group called TPOC. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what TPOC does? Of course. So TPOC is a trans people of color project for a, a intergenerational uh, folks. Uh, and this program is to fill the gap between the racialized community uh, and in for in this group we are like uh, supporting they can come here and educate themselves uh, about like sexual health and like food insecurity and uh, they can come here and chit chat and cook together it's very very um, safe space where they can share their life and su get supported and so in addition to sharing important information, of course, we're getting recipes in this book. So Yasmin, can you tell us about what sparked this idea? How did you come up with this idea to educate, but also feed at the same time? Um, we came up with the idea because of folks who were experiencing food insecurity and mm. um, here, we're cooking in the, at the 519 in the kitchen. Staff at the time would pass by and smell all the recipes and the flavors and ask us where they could get the recipe or what were we cooking. It was so good. How could they have access to it? So we thought, why not? Why not, you know, put the boat together, put the, the recipes and create a sexual health component to it and, you know, just create a fun, flavorful book. So Angel, you have a dish that sounds absolutely delicious. Uh, it's also really authentic to your culture. So talk about your raw curry and why you chose to share it. Of course, raw curry is my, it's reminding my childhood, like, you know, because I lived in Tamil Nadu. It's like in south southern part of India, which is like a clearly closer to the coastal area. And it's it always like every week at least twice a week we always cook this so it's like reminding me of my childhood i wanted to share this recipe with our group and it's eventually happened to share with the world with this book i want to know everything about it just give us the coles notes of how it's kind of put together oh so it's like uh, just clean the uh, uh, prawn or shrimp and then like you just like saute the onion and then all the seasonings like a uh, very indian traditional seasoning like cinnamon cardamom and uh, uh, all these like uh, tiny elements and then fry it and then saute the onion ginger garlic paste and then some tomato paste add that uh, shrimp and then like cook it for like uh, 20 minutes and then it's ready Oh, mm. I bet already. Even your description it's of amazing. it sounds so <laughs> fragrant. I wish we had some of that right now. You know what? In the book and just now, you mentioned food insecurity. So how does food insecurity particularly affect trans people of color when they lack access to food? What impact does it have on the com community, Yasmin? Food insecurity, the impact it has on the community is um, folks who identity, gender identity could be quite visible. And when accessing food, um, people might misgender them or use different names or pronouns. And this is one of the barriers that many trans folks face, racialized folks face when accessing food. And this is what we try to do is to decrease that food insecurity here at TPOC. What's amazing too in the book, in addition to the recipes that you have, you also have nutritional information for people who are, are trans to keep in mind. So Angel, can you share why it's important for trans people to perhaps consider how their diet might interact with hormones, for example? A diet is like important for every human being. For trans folks, it's a little bit extra because they are doing a transition by taking a hormones, doing the surgeries because of like uh, they are adding uh, all these flavor, all these like uh, extra barrier to the, their existing current health situations. So for that reason, so they need to have, take 
nutritious food uh, to maintain their health properly because of the hormone it gives you some side effects as well so it's like uh, they are dealing with so many uh, medical things like you know they need to deal with so this nutrition will help them to boost their energy and live their healthy life so you have nutrition covered, you have flavor covered, but you can't forget about fun. So we're ending this with a festive drink. It's called Sorel, Yasmin. I know that it's particularly important to you and your culture. So tell us about it. Yes, so Sorel is really, really close to my culture. You know, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. So um, this drink is usually served at Christmas time, but here in Ontario and in Canada, it's tend to be served a lot in the summertime. Um, it's originally from West Africa, and it's very delightful. It's refreshing, and it's certainly a hit in the book. And many folks have been, you know, trying to figure out how to get access to it. Okay, well, we want it to be Christmas year round, especially in the summer. <laughs> Summertime is coming. So how do you make it? What's in it? Where do we find the ingredients? So you can find it at most Caribbean markets within probably in your neighborhood or Latin American market. Um, the sorrel is usually, we have it here, it's in a dried form. And this you would put in boiling water. You would switch the water off and let it steep like a tea for about five hours. Then you would switch it off, strain it, add sugar to your like in your taste and you can also add any form of alcohol you like and then you could store it in your fridge for up to three months Ooh. oh i love that yasmin angel thank you so much for joining us today it was a pleasure thank you thank, thank you, you so us. much for having us too so for everyone watching if you are in the gta you can get your very own copy of cooking with trans people of color at the glad day bookstore and for everyone else you can go online to the 519.org don't go anywhere we'll be right back